Welcome back and thank you for staying with Checkpoint. Now, Biko is a popular drink in Madhari, an illegal popular drink that is fast endangering the lives of those who partake it. While the government, through Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, concentrates all efforts of fighting illegal brews in central Kenya, KT News Investigatives today reveals how in Madhari slums in Nairobi city, brewers of these illegal drinks are operating with impunity not minding the dangers they bring to the community. Here is Francis Ode with that story on this latest episode of KTN News Investigates. These youths are protecting these illegal businesses. We shall not accept the situation where our children are being killed by illicit proof. Madar Islam, as you mind the dangers of high level of crime here, you quickly notice thriving businesses. Among them, this firewood business used for cooking. That explains the dotted smoking zones along this sewer line. Behind these sharks that hide the view of the river of Rosiwa flowing downstream, smoke rises from different spots as youth gather around in what appears to be mere idling. But that is not what is happening here. There are not just idling youths. While some work in open brewers day and night, some are part of the intelligence team spying on strangers. We first came across illegal brewers during opposition demos. This is the entry point. Here, youths are placed strategically to repulse police officers trying to gain access. As we later learned, these youth were protecting these illegal businesses. For them, it was not about the demos. On our second visit, we found a few youths confronting the police. It was during the demonstration that were called by the opposition leader to protest the high cost of living. But when we got deep inside, the effects of drinking the illegal brew is conspicuously evident. Here, men, women and youth have been turned into zombies. Retailing at 20 shillings, Biko is quite popular here. In the slum, brewers have literally turned their customers' lives upside down, young and energetic people literally sleeping away their lives. The brewers are known to mix their products with toxic substances to speed up fermentation and make it much stronger. This is River Rowe. In local name, they call it Rowe. This is where brewing pots are set up. Here, several fires can be seen, each with black drum, with pipes attached. Distillation process is going on. Each drum is connected to the sewage water to cool it down and then to another jerrycan, which is used to collect the final product. Mm -hmm. 
kapten sasa ingu tu ndiye nena kwenye saki tunaitua kango kangara ina kwa kwa sto ina kwa siku kaza ikisha hiva kwa kwa kongu ndiyo saa ina teremshu huko roe na mamtungi kutengeneza changa roe ni hiyo majitaka hiyo majichafu ina kwa kwenye pita ikienda huko ruwa hiyo roe hiyo so hapo ni natumika hapo ni napiku wa piyo pipe ina pitisho kwa drum na ina kwa hiyo maji hizo pipes ina toka kwa drum imenja kwa drum na imepita kwa chuka chuma fulani so ikitoka kwa drum ikisha hiva iki hiva iki nini ina ikiwa kwa mtunji so ndi ina kwa pombe the workers here are vigilant watching as closely as we cross over we were not allowed to stop or look at what was going on you get the impression this is a fearless group that can do anything to protect their business as residents who requested anonymity told KTN News that the owners of the illegal business were rich and influential people who lived in upscale estates in Nairobi and Kiambu counties. Hakuna mtu ni mwana anapika hiyo cham na kona biashara hii unless hiyo cham imemjengea ploti mali, korofa mali na ziko. Kuna mtu ame ni wagari ameka kwa taxi kuna mtu amejenga ploti alesa mtu kama huyu akona ploti kama tatu akiwacha labda tegeme ploti but si mtu anataka pesa mingi day by day here we witnessed workers fetch contaminated water and add it directly to the boiling mixture in the dark drums sisi ji jina bahana zionaga maske kwa jina kusema kuna dawa ya maiti hapo na isikia tu lakini kuna tuzo dawa ya white but sisi ji ni zinaitwa mbashi kuna kakemiko hiyo na kuna kika kuna kakemiko ni vile tu sijuji lakini meyon saying this as a potential danger to the consumers we set out to determine the safety of these drinks our first assignment was to get to acquire the illegal brew Biko First, our undercover cameraman had to understand his way around by purchasing a little bit of the biko. The next we succeeded to buy illegal brew of 10 liters of biko. Before fetching a sample of water that is used to brew the alcohol, this young man is clearly spying on us but we emerged smarter than him as we pretended to be customers na nauliza tuko na wageni fulani na tunataka nini ya nyadala hii ya kinyeji ala kama 5 liters tunaza toa wapi kuna ni biko ni na biko o biko biko ni how much kama 5 liters he walks back to check if they could sell us biko directly from the brewing point and comes back in about 10 minutes Inside the main store where ready alcohol is stored, 
two men are on a standby to receive the hot alcohol from the main manufacturing den. Uko na 5 liter? Eh, uko na kibuyu pia? Kibu? Ha? Biko. Biko. Kuna biko na nyingine. Yeah, hatutaki kawaida. Kawaida ile wao watu watachupua na watakula na hata shiba. Isa tuko rada. Oh. 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 Sawa hii. Ata hiyo ni yenu bado ni pombe. Hapo kuna pombe pia. Eh, hata huko. Na watu wa wengi. Unajua hii mtu anataka kusupply anafanyaje? Because kitu nimeona iko na demand sana. Eh. Sisi na kiambo hiki tunaenda kusupply. Yeah. Hizo za kiambo kuna zile by the way. Zanduthi nao wanapeleka tu mtungi za 20 liters. Hizo zinapelekwa kwa zinapelekwa. Lakini hizo karao wanakuwa wanajua so wanajua kuna yao hapo. Nikishapa kiwa kuna kila mtu anakuwa na wateja wake. Kuna wale anakuwa na wateja kangemi. Kuna wakayole. Kuna huko kayaba. Kayaba ni kusaidia. Eh kuna wakayaba, kuna wakiambu huko. Eh kuna kila mtu anakuwa na wateja wake wale anapaka kipeleka. After the transaction, we walked out openly carrying the brew past a nearby administration police. tangu kwanza sande wanakuka wingi wakibadilishana sana one after another one after another eh, kuna karawa punch hizi masikizini kuna karawa so kuna waso mbili kwa nini kukwe na karawa punch na karawa so na karawa so mbili huyu wa punch ni wa unapatana wa rank ya duty dogo but hiyo unaza patana kuja tu once pa week hawa ingine unapatana maybe ya takuja leo tena kesho kutua hivyo hivyo but wana change shift kuna time hata mmoja alikuja atambiwa mwingine alikuja atambua ndani alikuwa hapa amechukua so we kuje siku nyingine our next stop was at the government chemist offices in Nairobi We wanted to find out whether samples contained any harmful components that could harm those who drink these products. The results showed that both the water and the drinking popularly known as Biko contained arsenic components. According to the World Health Organization, arsenic is very toxic and can cause cancer, skin lesions, heart disease, diabetes, and cognitive problems. Cadmium was also detected in the alcohol. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry says that cadmium can damage the kidneys and the bones. Mtu lips me turn red. Mtu amefura. Mtu anakalabda ni kumuzi ya nazakuta ni brown. Mtu anafura miku. Kwa hivyo kena wanafura miku. Mtu wezi penda. But I think ni hizo chemicals. Mtu ni kwa melewa, hata labdu siku wanafuka. Jukuna wengine wanafukunyo wa hiko, saidi ya madhari. Awana mahali pa kulala. Jiyo barabara ni, ni tunituwe ibizi. Mtu ata kongwa na gari hapo, ata kwa mlema hapo. Mgini ata kufa. Wengine pia na kufa, unapatika na katua mikufa. Mtu labda lilewa, kukanyesha, kanyesha, wadi ya kufa. 
Pengine anapiga kuna mtu nishaye na family imekuja na V8 kama amekufa kumchukua KTN News investigates has established that the harmful and banned substances used in making illegal alcohol that the government has classified as poison under section 25 of the Pharmacy and Poisons Act include formaldehyde, formalin, methanol, jet fuel, car battery acid or alkaline battery content, fertilizer, trichloroethane DTT, sisal juice, used clothes and dead rodents but how was this happening in broad daylight with law enforcers within reach if you are waking up there every day and you are a police or you are waking up every day there and you are a chief or a senior chief and there is illicit brewing happening then what are we saying then it's saying that you are either blind you don't see what is happening or something is happening which we don't know kabwere Goro and his wife Mama Cynthia, Waidaka, Lois, Mama Teddy, Mama Simon and a young man called Boi are some of the feared dealers of alcohol in this area. But the area chief denies knowledge of all these. Same case with the deputy county commissioner. On the other side, the National Authority for Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse, NACADA, is blaming the security officers for supporting the vice. According to the law, brewing and selling illicit liquor is an offense that can lead to a jail term of up to 10 years or a fine of up to 10 million shillings or both. According to report by NACADA, Alcohol is the most abused substance in Kenya and there is a high demand for cheap and easy to get alcoholic product especially traditional brews and spirits. As the government fight illegal alcohol through Vice President Rigathi Gachagua's office questions on what remedy or economic activity the alcohol brewers turn to support their daily living continue to linger we shall not accept a situation where our children are being killed by illicit brew when they are chiefs assistant chiefs county commissioners and the police please assist president william ruto and us to have a sober kenya kuna mtu ameishi na hiyo bomba moyo alikuwa kibaki na kujuru akija saini ruto saa sijui sidani kama nilaji What happens to the already addicted population who mostly are jobless? Now we have done our part. The government promised that it will eradicate all the drug barons and illegal or illicit brew in Kenya. With the recent reports from Nakada saying that up to 6 years of children are introduced into drugs. The barons here in Madare say that this vice started back during the regime of Moi and now it is a regime of Ruto. The question is, will the regime of Ruto with their promises really eradicate the current vice on illicit brew? Or the Francis Kete News Nairobi Joshua Bennett from Kenya